Welcome to the Old Time Radio Westerns. I'm your host, Andrew Rines, and before we get into this episode, I wanted to do a little PSA and remind you that I put out multiple shows a week of Old Time Radio Westerns. You can check them out by going to otrwesterns.com or looking up OTR Westerns on your podcast application of choice. We are releasing over 10 episodes a week so far, about 100 a month. So definitely want you to check that out. Again, otrwesterns.com and check it out. I also wanted to invite you to check out my sister podcast site, OT Netcast, and that's N-E-T-C-A-S-T. So O-T N-E-T-C-A-S-T, Netcast, otnetcast.com. We're currently releasing mystery genre shows, and this is shows like The Shadow, Escape, Suspense, and The Whistler. And we have plans on bringing other shows to the network for you guys to listen to. So it's my non-Western old-time radio channel that I can kind of do other genres that not only I like, but hopefully you would like too. You can check us out by going to otnetcast.com or searching O-T-N-E-T-C-A-S-T on your podcast app of choice. Now let's get into this episode. This episode is going to be The Lone Ranger. Original air dates January 28th, 1946, and the title is Outlaws Gold, and this is chapter two. with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. Indian companion Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Let's go, big fellow! I'm Silver! Away! To continue the Lone Ranger's adventures of last Friday night, the masked man and Tonto had been mystified because so many outlaws were trying to get inside the San Bazos jail. Jimmy Ives and Luke Sutter had staged a fake holdup, which placed Jimmy behind the bars. King Larson, a gambler, had feigned drunkenness to accomplish the same purpose. Then the Lone Ranger, with blazing guns and trip hammer fists, had forced his way into the jail. He found Ives and Larson fighting over a few dobe bricks they had removed from the wall. A moment later, the masked man was wounded as he and Tonto ran to escape an angry posse of citizens. Now, after dodging through the rear door of the bridal bit cafe, 
He was being aided in his escape by a beautiful, dark-haired girl. Where are we now? Underneath a log shack in the edge of town. There's a trap door right above us, but I'm not tall enough to... I'll find it. Good. Now there should be a ladder that you can pull down. Yes, here it is. I'll go first. I know the inside of the shack by heart, and I can... Of course. Here, let me help you. Now, can you make it all right? I think so. There. Oh, I'm so glad. We're safe now. I know we are. I hope so. At least until I can... It's very dark in here. Aren't there any windows in this shack? They're covered over with blankets. But there's a lamp. I'll light it in just a moment. What are you doing? You're wounded. Sit down. All right. I have to bandage your shoulder. One of the ruffles on my petticoat is the only piece of white cloth I know of. You're very kind. Now I'll light the lamp. The only water I know of is in that rain barrel over in the corner. I should heat it, but I'm afraid smoke from the chimney might attract some... Cold water will be all right. At least it'll cleanse the wound. Well, I'll do my best. You'll have to tear your shirt sleeve a little bit, though. All right. Now we can take up our conversation at the point where I came in the back door of the bridal bit and found you standing in the hallway. All right. You seem to know exactly why all of these men are trying to get inside the jail. So do you. We're all after the same thing. Why pretend? You mentioned a map that's hidden in the wall of the jail. How did you find out about it? If I tell you, will you help me get it? You've helped me. I'm indebted to you. I... All right, here's my side of the story. Up until about 15 years ago, one of the most successful outlaws in the West was a man named Mike Barlow. Yes, that's right. He and his gang held up trains, robbed banks, anything to get money. Mike personally took charge of all the loot. I see. Mike was Irish, but he'd married a very beautiful Spanish woman who died when I was born. Then you are... Lola, Mike Barlow's daughter. I was raised in a private school back east. I stayed there until I learned that my father was dead... There'd be no more money for education or dancing lessons. Where and how did Mike die? He was hanged on a gallows right here in San Bazos. Oh? And ever since that time, for 15 years, all the members of my father's old gang have tried to find out where he hid the gold he piled up from the robberies. There must be half a million in gold. That's a lot of money. And three days ago, the coffer came back from South America. Who's the coffer? He was Mike's closest friend, the last one to see him before he was hanged. Coffer knew that Mike had drawn a map during the last night he spent in the San Bazos jail. And the Coffer knew where that map was hidden. So he came back to San Bazos to get it? No, oh, he was sick. He needed money for a doctor, so he told the secret to Loop Sutter. Loop repaid him with a bullet. The Coffer's dead. Mm -hmm. He must have told more than one man. No, he only I... told Loop. But King Larson, a tin horn gambler, overheard them talking. Oh, I, I see. So did Boozy Ward. Boozy's a friend of mine. He came to Fort Worth and told me... I was dancing in a cafe there. Now I'm dancing here at the bridal bit. The reason you're really here is to find the map. So are you. So why shouldn't we work together? My father's hidden gold rightfully belongs to me. Well, uh, what was it the coffer told Loop Sutter? Just nine words. San Bazos Jail, under the sign of three bars. San Bazos Jail, under the sign of three bars... And that's why bricks were torn out of one of the walls in the cell. As if you didn't know. You were trying to break in. There. The bandage is finished. Thanks. Uh, the shack is at the edge of town. It's dark enough for me to slip out and get back to my camp. You mean you're going to leave, not help me? Uh, uh, maybe some of those other men, Loop Sutter, King Larson, or Boozy Ward, already have the map. They couldn't have found it. I was in that crowd that came to the jail when all the shooting started. I saw your gunfight with Loop and Boozy. You wounded them. I saw you knock out the sheriff. Then King Larson and that other man. Suppose you did find Mike Barlow's gold, Lola. It doesn't belong to you. It belongs to all the people from whom he stole it. I know. That's the very reason I want to find it instead of Loop or King. Why? I want to give the money back to the people it belongs to. Every cent of it. Oh, I see. Think I'd have nerve enough to ask you, the Lone Ranger, to help me if I weren't honest and sincere? I hope you're telling the truth, Lola. I am. Believe me, I am. Please help me. You said yourself you were indebted to me. 
All right. I'll try. You'll never regret it. I swear you won't. There. Uh, Expressing my gratitude with a kiss is wrong. I... Oh, not wrong. There are more important things to do. Now, with any luck, my Indian friend reached our horses and made camp west of town. I'll find him first, then go back to the jail. I'll wait in the bridle bit until I hear from him. Good. I'll see you later. Adios. to find you or our camp. Uh, he kept way. Ground hitch horses here, back of trees. Good. I ducked into a back door of the Bridal Bit Cafe and lost those men who were following me. You have wounds and shoulder. Me fix it. It's already bandaged tunnel. Temporarily, at least. See, I met a girl who helped me dodge the posse. A girl named Lola Barlow. Barlow? That name a bad outlaw a long time ago. That's right. Lola's his daughter. She helped you? Yes. That's the puzzling part of it. She called me by name, bandaged my shoulder... Told me why all those crooks are trying to get inside the San Basos jail. And why that? Because on the night before he was hanged, Mike Barlow hid a map in the cell. A map that shows where half a million in gold is hidden. This happened a long time ago? Yes, 15 years. Girl named Lola. You think her crook too? No, I, I don't think so, Toto. She's intelligent, very pretty, and she seems sincere. Of course, I could be mistaken. But I promised to help her keep that map out of the hands of those other men. Ah. And what we do now? Walk back to the jail. We'll leave the horses here. Uh, uh, what do you think Sheriff do after a fight? I don't know, Toto. What's going on back there now? We'll keep our eyes open and be ready to move fast. Give him some air. Come on, boys. He's coming, too. Uh, well, what happened? He got clipped on the jaw by a big owl who was wearing a mask. We lit out after him and a redskin, but they both got away. Oh, yeah. I remember now, it was a jailbreak. Those two hombres back in the cell, are they? They've gone, too. The cell door standing wide open. The mask armory must have used your keys. I found them on the floor. Yeah, the dirty coyotes. That's the first time anybody's ever pulled a jailbreak on me. They even tried to dig their way out before the break. Took some bricks out of the wall under the window. They never would have made that. These walls are over four feet thick. The sneaking owl hoot polecats, which way they head? West, I guess. Near as we could figure out. And we'll, and we'll trail them. I want volunteers for a posse. Who ride with me? Good. Let's hit the leather. Now, wait a minute. Joe. Yes, sir. Guess this is sort of like locking the barn door after the horse is stolen. But I can't leave the jail unguarded. You stay here. No sense in guarding an empty jail, Sheriff. I'd rather go with nope, you. Nope, there's got to be some law left in San Basos. We'll be back before sunup. Uh-oh. All right, boys, let's go. <laughs> Boozy, I've been waiting up here almost out of my mind with worry. What happened? Somebody new is trying to cut in on us. What do you mean? Did you hear all that gunfire up near the jail about 30 minutes ago? Of course I heard it, but... Well, I was right in the middle of it. So was Luke Sutter. The map. Did they get the I map? I don't think anybody's got it. Yet. How do you know? Well, the way I figure it, it's like this. The cowpuncher who's working with Luke Sutter gets thrown in jail. and starts digging out bricks, looking for the map. Well... Then King Larson, who's playing a lone hand, pretends to be drunk. So the sheriff puts him in that same cell with a cowpuncher. Doesn't explain why. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. When I head for the jail, I run into Loop Sutter. And we both run into a big tall gent with a black mask over his face. Oh, I see. And then the shooting starts. This mask on me is faster than greased lightning. He plugs me. Hey, look at my hand there. Plugs me and Loop. Oh, I'm sorry, Boozy. Then he knocks out the sheriff. He must have opened the cell and had a fight with King and the cowpuncher, too. There's nobody there now. Just a deputy guarding an empty jail. 
Where's the sheriff? Out with his posse. Trailing that masked outlaw. Good. That's wonderful. Now's our chance to get the map. Uh, Loop Sutter, the cowpuncher, and King Larson are maybe figuring the same thing. We'll get there first. I'll hold a gun on the deputy while you get the map. Come on. <laughs> Just out of jail over there, look empty. Nobody there. I can see someone there in the sheriff's office. Maybe it's a deputy. Ah. Pretty good we see Lawman and Big Posse right out of town. That would be no Wait a minute, Toto. What matter? Somebody's moving through those trees right ahead of us. Quiet. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Continue our story. Walking quietly through the shadows surrounding the San Basos jail, the Lone Ranger and Tonto heard a stealthy movement in the darkness ahead of them. Quiet, Tonto. I'm sure there's someone just ahead of us. Uh. Hey, Luke. Luke. Yeah? There's somebody sitting in the front part of that calaboose. There by the desk. See? Uh, Tin Star deputy, that's all he is. We saw the sheriff head out of town with his posse. Well, I don't know Shut up. Him. I'll give the orders. Come on. Crook hit Lawman. We move past and catch him. Huh? No, no, Tonto, not yet. Unless I'm mistaken, as long as there's a certain map hidden in the cell, this jail will draw crooks like a magnet. We'll wait a while and catch them all. Uh, we wait here. No, we've got to get a little closer. And that's hard to do because... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, the jail has a flat roof. We'll circle the building and climb up there. Uh -huh. Careful. We don't want to be seen or heard. I'm sure Luke Sutton and his friend are trying to be just as quiet. Oh, we quiet. Let me go first. I'll handle it. Hey, what the... Keep your face shut. I got a mighty itchy trigger finger. Are you... I mean, he's one of the outlaws who broke jail. That's right. Get his gun, Jimmy. Yeah. Now use it. Just a barrel will be enough. Wait a... That's it. Now drag him behind the desk. You want me to pin the sunken tin on my shirt and put on his head? Sure. That's it, Jimmy. <laughs> you don't make a bad-looking lawman. Yeah, suppose the sheriff comes back before you get through. Ah, don't worry about the sheriff. Like it's now to be gone two, three hours. The hombres you got to watch for are King Larson and Boozy Ward. Hand me that lantern over there. I need some light back in the cell. Yeah. Here you are, Luke. Thanks. Yeah. Keep your eyes peeled. You see or hear anything suspicious? Sing out. I'll be back in the cell digging out bricks with my jackknife. Find map? I don't know. 
hope he doesn't find it before the other two show up and then out. The window of the cell is right below that far wall. We go over there, we can listen. Uh. Kimasabi. What is it? Look. See, big fella. He walked the back door of jail. Yes, I see him. It must be King Larson. We'll let him go in. Wait and see what happens. <laughs> Hey, Luke. Yeah? Did you find it? Ah, shut up. Well, I'm getting yeah, tired of it. It's all right, cowboy. You won't be tired much longer. What the? I'm right behind you. This is the point of a boy knife pressed against your back. Don't yell. Uh, King Larson. Where'd you come from? Right through the back door. I saw you and Luke come in. Pretty good idea, knocking out the deputy and you sitting here in this place. Don't move. Go for that gun and you'll never live to touch it. What, what do you want? Luke Sutter's digging it out of the wall back there. Then I'll take it. Oh, you dirty... <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I warned you. Oh. Since King Larson went in the back door, Luke's still working in the cell. You wait for other crook? Yes, I'm sure there are four. Lola mentioned them. They all know that they... Toto. Uh-uh. Look over this way. And had a man walking toward the front of the jail. Ah. Uh, looked like little fella who hold gun on us. That must be Boozy Ward. Come on, we'll climb down follow him in the front door. Uh-uh. Sign of three bars. That's right. <laughs> Keep on working, Loop. When you find the map, hand it to me. King Larson. Boy, you dirty. How'd you get by Jimmy Ives? He's supposed to you let me... You and your friend, the cowpuncher. He's still sitting out there in the sheriff's office. How'd you get Pick by him? Pick up that knife and go to work, Loop. You're going to dig for Mike Barlow's map, but I'm going to carry it out of here. You sneaking tin horn. I, will... I can use this 45, Loop. Better go to work. I... It ain't here. There ain't any map here. See for yourself. Dug every brick out of the wall and... You learn. Get to work or up. Hey, you hear that? Somebody came in the front door. Might be the law. I'm going to no, get... No, you're not. We're going to stay here until that map is found, whether you like it or not. Go quiet down and... Whoever it is has stopped out there in the hall. Yes, right, Luke. Who's he? Who's he, Ward? I know you're back there, too, Larson. Double cross a little bar fly out. Larson, both of you armories. I'm in the dark, here at the end of the hall. You're standing in front of that lantern. Hand over the map, or I'll start puffing lead. Uh, yeah, wait a minute. This is a standoff. None of us will get anything as long as we're trying to double cross each other. Is that your idea? Let's throw in together. Go to work on this wall. Splitting a half million three ways is better than nothing. How about it? I would. All right. What do you say, Boozy? Sure. I'll string along. Let's put up our guns and start digging. But I tell you, it's no use. Look, can't you see what I've already done? And there's no Didn't sign the of anybody. say San Basos jail under the sign of three bars? There are three bars in the window. It's there someplace. It must be. Well, maybe you can find it. I can't. Let's go to work. <laughs> They're all back there in the cell, Toto. Me, uh, Kimasabi. See fella with head on desk. Him sleep? Yes. The outlaw who? Wait a minute. through his back. Uh, King Larson do it? I suppose so. That's the reason we didn't hear any scuffle. In crook and cell not know we're here. You'll know it soon enough. As soon as I... Wait a minute. 
What's that? Most lawmen keep handbills and reward notices like these in their desks. I just wanted to see if... Yes, here it is. Me not savvy. An old handbill describing the Mike Barlow gang. King Larson, Luke Sutter, Boozy Ward, the coffer. Lola was telling the truth. I'll keep this. Come on, Toto. Ah. Well, well, I'm glad all of you double-crossing crooks are inside of a cell. That's where you belong. The, the mask on and the engine. Nobody else is going to... Not this time, Larson. Oh, my arm. Check out that landing, Boozy. I've got him. That should settle this argument. Get some rope, Toto. We'll tie them up so they'll be sure and wait for the sheriff. Ah, me do it. All right. So you got the drop on us, but you still lose. Is that so? Sure. The map's not here. Like as not there ever was any map. Yeah, me got rope. Me tie up crook now. Uh, I don't know who you are. Are you having to cut in on our game? Uh, but you've lost just as much as we have. Hmm, that's a shame. All the work the three of you did, prying bricks out of the wall. They call for a line. All that local talk about under the sign of three bars. I... Oh, hey, not so tight with that rope, engine. Well, I'm really just as disappointed as you are. The way I heard the story, there would be no reason for the coffer to lie about it. Nah, nah. Me tie up all crook. Good. Uh, maybe better we find another lantern. We'll night through window, not make much light. Yes, it doesn't make a... Wait, Toto. That's it. You're not savvy. The message was under the sign of three bars. That wouldn't necessarily mean under the bars of the window. It might mean... Look, the moonlight coming through the window makes a perfect pattern of three bars on this wall. Ah, these fellas dig wrong place. Give me your knife, Toto, quick. Uh Here, your knife. Thanks. The brick seems to come out easy enough. Right behind it is... Flat packet wrapped in oil silk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yes, this is Mike Barlow's map, all right. All we need to do is... Hand it over to me. The gun is pointing at the back of your head. Lola, I thought you, you were... You thought a lot of things. Don't move, either you or the Indian. Good work, Lola. Get these ropes off of me. Now help no, me. thanks, Boozy. This masked man has just saved me a lot of trouble tying you up. What? You, you mean you're double-crossing me? At least it's proof of the old story that there's no honor among thieves. <laughs> you were the most gullible of them all. You didn't think I really meant that stuff about giving my money back to anyone, did you? Unfortunately, I did. Now give me the map. And don't try to reach for one of your guns while you're doing it. All right. Here it is. Thanks. You're smart enough to know when you're beaten. Stand where you are and don't turn around. Believe me, I can use this gun. That's one thing you've said. I do believe. Kimasabi, we go. No, after no, her. Tonto. Let her get away. She didn't get Mike Barlow's map. What? I gave her that old handbill. Oh. We're going to leave the map on the yeah. sheriff's desk. That sounds like Lawman. Come back now. We haven't very much time. Come on, Tonto. By Juniper, I can't understand it. A dead crook here in my chair and three live ones tied up back there in the cell. And that map, showing where Mike Barlow hid all his gold from the robberies. Where'd that come from? I'm blamed if I know. It just don't make any sense. Mighty good night's work, I'd say. Almost perfect. What do you mean, almost? Well, we didn't run down that mask, hombre, or the engine.
The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. This has been a presentation of otrwesterns.com, and we hope you enjoyed. Please take some time to like and rate our shows in your favorite podcast application. Follow us on Facebook by going to otrwesterns.com slash Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel by going to otrwesterns.com slash YouTube. And send us an email, podcast at otrwesterns.com. You can call and leave us a voicemail, 707-986-8739. This episode is copyright under the attribution non-commercial share like copyright. For more information, go to otrwesterns.com slash copyright. Have a great day, and thanks for listening.